An influencer by the name of Eva Lopez is suing the New York Police Department for $30 million after they messed up big time and used her photo on a wanted poster. The police agency actually used this woman's photo for a crime that she did not commit. She initially discovered the mistake back in August of 2021 when her boyfriend was contacted by a friend who saw the wanted poster online. Imagine just living your life and the whole time you're on the NYPD's most wanted section with no idea whatsoever. Terrifying. The lawsuit was then filed on March 9th in Manhattan. And according to the NYPD poster, the police claimed that Lopez was wanted for grand larceny and included on the poster was a picture from her social media page. Her Instagram account has since been set to private, but she has just over 864,000 followers as of writing this. According to the court documents, Eva honestly couldn't believe that she was being accused of this when she found out. She goes on to say, I thought it was something fake. I really couldn't believe the police would put me on a wanted poster. And because she thought it was fake, she just shrugged it off, but it was her boss that convinced her to maybe call the police department because this could be real. Her boss then urged her to reach out to the East Village's 9th Precinct to find out. So that evening, she decided to call Detective Kevin Dwyer, whose name was listed on the flyer. The shocking thing is that the detective already knew that there was an issue with the poster before she even called. He then notified her that the wanted poster had been removed from the department's Facebook page and other sites because the real suspect had a tattoo sleeve, which Lopez clearly did not. However, it was just a little too late at that point. Her image had already been circulated online, and because she was accused of this, her reputation had taken a hit. Lopez explains further and says, It was already spread around on social media. It was still being passed around, still being talked about, still making me look like a thief and a prostitute. On the poster, she can be seen wearing a low-cut hot pink tube top with a thick gold necklace, bright multicolored leggings, and high heels. On the poster, it says, The 9th Precinct Detective Squad is attempting to identify the subject pictured above for grand larceny. On August 3rd, 2021, the complainant's roommate did reply to an online escort advertisement, and while the subject was at the apartment at 170 2nd Avenue, the subject did remove complainant's Rolex watch valued at $13,000 and a Chase credit card without permission or authority to do so. However, Lopez was in Queens on August 3rd, not in Manhattan. She also added that the photo they used was taken a month or two earlier as she was heading to a friend's birthday party. The detectives also told Lopez that the victims showed police photos of her Instagram page saying that she was the one that was responsible. Although she insists that she only works as a fashion influencer as well as a bartender at a club in Queens. The Manhattan Supreme Court lawsuit goes on to say, on Facebook, the wanted poster got shared over thousands of times, 10,000, 20,000 times. Then on Instagram, a lot of blog sites that have millions of followers, they posted it as well. And she also had to take to her own Instagram page and use that to clear her name. Unfortunately, as I mentioned earlier, the damage was already done. People were just not convinced and believed that she was being dishonest. Even coworkers began gossiping about her at work, and so her reputation took a severe nosedive. She goes on to say, people didn't think I was being honest. It was just really, really embarrassing, not only for me, but for my family as well. I just really want people to know that's not me in any way, shape, or form. The girl has nothing to do with me. She insisted that she has never even been in trouble with the law before, nor does she know the victims of this crime. Her lawyer said in a statement as well, the NYPD should commit to more thorough investigations before haphazardly accusing and identifying innocent people of fantastic lies and brazen crimes. The detective on the poster declined to give a comment on the matter, but apparently the city law department claimed they would be reviewing the lawsuit. I'd love to hear your thoughts on all this though, because that's all the time we have for today. So stay classy and I'll see you in the next one.